I'm Dr. Mike Milligan. I'm here with Roger Price, respiratory physiologist, now from Scottsdale, Arizona. Roger, thanks so much for being with us. That's my pleasure, Mike. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit, Roger, this is so important and uh, really a coming thing uh, for dentistry in the prevention of sleep apnea, great uh, prevention for kids for developing problems later in life. Tell us about your, your background, your company, and, um, and now what you're doing for us. Okay. Um, starting off as a pharmacist, going through the various ologies and opathies in life, I found it made more sense to look at the cause rather to try and treat the symptoms. But once the symptoms are there, they have to be treated and the cause needs to be addressed simultaneously. So about 15 years ago, I partnered with a friend of mine who was a dentist and we started looking into a concept that we call looking at the child attached to the teeth in addition to the teeth attached to the child. And of course you can extrapolate that to the person attached to the symptoms as well as the symptoms attached to the person. And that of course got us into the realm of posture, of breathing, breathing mechanics, breathing dynamics. It got us involved in nutrition, in um, people's reactions to what goes on in life. So what we decided to do was take the things, the major stressors in life, and put them into three segments. And the one segment we call functional, which is how you sit, stand, talk, uh, lie, sleep, the way your teeth are, your jaws are, your head position, those are all very stressful. The second lot we call ingestional, which is the things that you put into your body. Now if you put something into the body that it doesn't like, it wants to get rid of it, and that is stressful. And the third group we don't call what you eat, we call what's eating you. And that is how we respond to the little things that happen to us on a day-to-day -day basis. Because in reality, the only thing that changes our breathing patterns is stress. And if we want to change the breathing patterns, which are the things that have actually consolidated, it's also important that we change what we do simultaneously. Wow, that's, that's very profound. So, now as, as a dentist, and many dentists watching this, as well as physicians, but how does this all relate to what we do? How can we become uh, knowledgeable and uh, help our patients through this? I think the first thing, Mike, to remember is that people's perceptions are very important. The general public does not perceive dentists to be doctors. The emphasis is on smile and on white teeth and on straight teeth and on the cosmetics. Um, we can make dentists doctors again by inserting one word into the name of your practice and that word is integrative. So instead of uh, Mike's general dental practice it becomes Mike's integrative dental practice which gives your staff the opportunity to talk about things other than teeth which means that when your patients come in they are happy to listen to you talk to something or talk about something which they previously believed was outside your field of expertise. Makes a lot of sense. Yes, that's, that's fantastic. Uh, and uh, now, orofacial, myology, nutrition, what are the various uh, disciplines that, that we need to, that, that we would benefit our patient if we became involved with those in our practice? Well, one of my teachers was the guy who wrote the shin bones connected to the knee bones connected to the thigh bone. Um, you cannot divide the human body into segments. It is 11 integrated, independent and interdependent systems. And you can't work on one or have a problem with one that doesn't affect something else down the line. So as far as dentistry is concerned, the integrity of the teeth depend on the integrity of the musculature of the tongue, of the face, of the head, of the neck. You can't stop with the muscles of the neck. You have to go down to the shoulders and the back and the hips and the, and the feet. So if we don't look <clears throat> at the origin of the problem, which could in fact be one leg shorter than the other, causing the jaw to be skew on the one side, we're not going to get an optimal result that is as stable as it could be. So yes, it's orofacial myology, it's posture, it's breathing, it's diaphragmatic release, it's breathing mechanics, it's getting the shoulders back and the head straight and the tongue in the right position. And all of this helps the dentist 
or the orthodontist to straighten what has gone wrong in the first place. Makes a lot of sense. What are, and then what are some of the symptoms, the patient problems, that we can help correct through posture, breathing, uh, and of course expanding the airway in kids, the developing the, the arches so that the... Uh, well, one of the first things is chronic tiredness. Mm -hmm. A lot of children can't get out of bed in the mornings because they're tired. Um, bedwetting, nighttime toilet trips, um, just general feeling not that well because the body is out of balance. Right. And things like breathing problems like um, so-called asthma attacks, a lot of those can be avoided and those can be prevented by not allowing them to take place in the first place. Mm -hmm. The same applies to certain kinds of apneas. People stop breathing for certain reasons. One of the reasons is obstruction. The other reason is it's a biochemical imbalance that the body is trying to address by changing the breathing pattern from time to time. And all of these link together to provide a total body solution to a problem which is only visible in one area. I know you've had extreme success, just fantastic success in these areas. How would we get more in touch? How would we get in touch with you for more information, Roger? Probably the best way is through the website, which gives an email address. It's a simple one. It's breathing well, which is one word, and it's .com and it has a .au at the end because the website was set up in Australia. And uh, you're very welcome to visit that website. You'll find an email address there. You'll find a contact. Let us know and we'll be in touch with you and let's see what we can do to make integrative dental health care come your way. Roger, thank you so much. For That's my pleasure, Mike.